Good evening. Do you believe in ghosts? I thought not. Tonight, I thought we might have a bit of fun. The amazing members of the Tech Park Paranormal team have agreed to put on a show for us to convince us otherwise. Let us take a look at what evidence they have to offer. And don't get scared. But, if you do get scared, and give that sudden urge to run out of the room, please do so in an orderly fashion. We don't want your spirit. You just tapped me on the back of the head again. Thank you. Can you do it one more time to validate that it is you tapping me on the back of the head? We did not do that. The spell. It just had a bad feeling in there and it came out. She walked, she was walking past it, but she wasn't anywhere near it. Is it Joseph? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Did you, it was that a, was that one or two? If you could repeat it, please. That sounds like an enthusiastic yes. Okay. Annie Mary, can you see the, the little, uh, animal laying on the bed. Do you see the fuzzy thing laying on the bed? Yes. I brought that for you to play with while we're here. That's a little lamb. No. Well, it's a, it's a stuffed lamb. It's not a real one. But you can play with it. You can see the ball on the floor. Remember the ball? No? It's like she's yelling. It's like a very strong. Yeah, How old is this song Mary Had a Little Lamb? Uh, you know, I don't know. That was a yes, I think. I heard one click. Oh, that's unlucky. Hmm? Kitty skinny. Okay. okay. Not too gently. No. No. No reason for it to have done that. Who, who'd she like, have in uh, mind? Frank Lewis or Avery Dowell or A. Who's L. Frank Duncan? Lewis? Frank Lewis was a young man who worked in here um, from about nut. He worked 
worked in here for like 16 years. He died in 1925. He was a really young man. He was only 37 years old when he died. Would you please introduce yourself to us, please? My name is Debbie Wright. I live in McKinney, Texas, and I'm Morning Star Antiques. And uh, you're part of the Ghost Walk every year? Yes, I've been part of the Ghost Walk now for about four years. And do you have spirits in the store? Oh, very definitely. If you're looking for spirits, you definitely want to come walking in here on the Ghost Walk. You'll find several in here. And um, n numerous experiences over the years? Yes. I've been in here 11 years. From the very beginning, people saw ghosts in here, or spirits, whichever term you're, you're used. Uh, I haven't. I'll be right up front and say that I've not seen any, but do I believe they're in here? Oh, yes. Do you I feel have. them? Yes, I do feel them. Okay. I do, very definitely, and sometimes I feel like they give me little messages. Okay. okay. All right. What's kind of the history of the store? Well, this is the J.P. Dowell Hardware Store. It was built in 1888 and in business through the 1960s. It was a quality hardware store. J.P. Dowell was a very active owner. He was very involved in the business. He was very forward thinking. Uh, he unfortunately passed away just 10 years after building the building. And his wife called the family together and said, if we're going to be able to stay open, what we're going to need to do is everybody has to pitch in and help run it. And there were, I believe, five sons. And the oldest was only, was Adrian. He was only 20 years old. I think the youngest was five. But for the next many, many years, the sons and later grandsons ran the store and kept it open. Wonderful, wonderful. So uh, if somebody comes in, uh, what would be probably one name spirit you think you would be able to give them? The first spirit that was ever seen in here it was in the middle of the afternoon, 3.30 in the afternoon. I was conversing with a lady just like I am with you when she looked upstairs and jumped, and I said, what? And she saw a spirit looking at her. Oh, good. She described a gentleman, and as the years have gone by, that same spirit in that same location has been described by individual after individual after individual, none of whom are connected. So it's not like this person tells this person and this person tells this person, but it's in the area right up there, and I always keep a lamp on right there. What's that? package. Whoa. Did you just feel that? Are you a normal resident of this house? What? I was you stirring. The stairs might not be well, even I remember, I picked up a man in here. I turned off all the lights in the forest at the nightlight. It's nice and cool in here.
That was a bit of messy. I mean, this one. And did you notice how the spirits seemed to talk back to them? I bet you'll end up your children did that. In any case, I hope this film didn't spook anybody too bad. But it did seem to properly demonstrate what the paranormal looks and sounds like. And I hope you'll come back next year and that this film was helpful in answering some of your questions. As a matter of fact, this team did such a good job this year, and I might have them solve another mystery for me next year. Such as, where does my laptop keep going? Why can't I have a matching set?